हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिस्कस ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज सॉलिड स्टेट केमिस्ट्री सो वॉट इज ए सॉलिड सो सॉलिड इज नथिंग बट वॉट हियर द सॉलिड इज नथिंग बट हियर वेन यू टेक ए आइस क्यूब ओके सो वेन यू आर टेकिंग एन आइस क्यूब इट इज अ सॉलिड विच इज अ थ्री डी डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड इफ यू टेक ए शुगर मॉलिक्यूल इट इज ऑल्सो ए सॉलिड so it is a two d dimensional structure so means what here it represents two d dimensional structure and it represents three d dimensional structure right so it is a solid means two d dimensional structure is having definite shape and three d dimensional structure is having also definite shape correct shape it is going to have okay so coming to here let us enter into our Listen. In solid state, what are the topics we are going to discuss here is nothing but here. So let us see here the contents. Here the general characteristics of solid state. So we are going to discuss the first topic here is what the general characteristics of the topic. So coming to here. So this is the first one we are going to discuss general characteristics of solid state. and amorphous and crystalline solids and classification of crystalline solids and here extra crystallography crystalline lattice and unit cell number of atoms in a unit cell close pack structures packing efficiency and here calculations imperfections in solids and also electrical properties and also magnetic properties so these are the things we are going to discuss in this lesson okay so now let us go to the general characteristics of solid state so as we have discussed what is a solid state so generally these are divided into three types that is solids liquids and gases so here this one is a gas molecule so if you are observing here so here if you have been seen here what here so this is a gas molecules which is here see the molecules will be in random the atoms molecules ions whatever we are taking here it is a free to move so these are in random it will be not having any shape it will be not having any volume also and coming to liquid molecules so liquid molecules will not be having definite shape but it will be having definite volume okay so this is about liquid molecules so if you go for solid so we are discussing about solid here whatever you take whether it is atom whether it is ion whether it is molecule whatever we are taking here so it is going to have definite shape and definite volume and also it is having an orderly arranged molecules if you have been observed here the molecules whatever you are taking here it is an orderly arranged see observe here this is a orderly arranged molecules right so means what it is having definite shape and definite volume and these are highly incompressible incompressible means what we cannot compress these molecules atoms ions why because these are having definite shape these are closely packed structures because of this reason what we can say here so this is highly incompressed and also these are what here these are rigid in nature rigid in means what here hard in nature so these molecules are very hard why why these molecules are very hard why because these are having definite shape these are orderly arranged these are closely packed structures because of this reason so these are very hard molecules and also the particles what are closely so these are due to strong intermolecular forces okay so these are due to strong intermolecular forces what is intermolecular two different atoms okay so when you take two different atoms these are closely packed and also the atoms ions molecules whatever you are taking here so these are in a fixed position this is nothing but solid we can say so what we can say here the solid is nothing but what it is having definite shape and volume and it is highly incompressible so these are rigid in nature 
and here these are strongly intermolecular forces having and also atoms ions molecules are in fixed position we can say so now let us see types of solids so there are two types of solids basing upon their atomic arrangement and binding energy and according to the properties so these are divided into what here two properties that is crystalline solids and amorphous solids okay so let us see what is crystalline solids so crystalline solid is nothing but what here same like solid state only it will be having definite shape and also definite volume so if you have been observed here diagram so these are orderly arranged molecules right so means what it is having definite shape why because these are arranged orderly in 3d dimensional structure if you take an ice cube that is a 3d dimensional structure so if you take a cube cube will be as a 3d dimensional structure so this is a cube so this is what 3d dimensional structure we can say here okay and also if you have been observed it will be forming as a crystalline lattice it will form a lattice points also so lattice point is nothing but what so if you take here let us take an atoms here so generally if you take atoms so these are the atoms okay so if you join this all these atoms if you have been joined so this all what this is a crystal plane so this one what happens you are joining so these uh, whatever dots i had kept this is a crystal points okay so this is nothing but what this a crystalline lattices and also if you have been observed they have long range order the order between these atoms and molecules will be very long we can say here okay so the it is a long range order we can say and anisotropic in nature so as we are saying that this is a orderly arrangement molecules we are saying that it is anisotropic why it is anisotropic in nature why because the order will be different here okay so it will show different order so aniso iso means same values it should have but coming to anisotropic is nothing but it will show different values so because of that reason it is anisotropic in nature and also it is how plane surface and it will be having definite shape this is a solid because of this solid we can say what here it is having sharp melting point so the solids mainly it will give melting points and also extra diffraction bands so what are the examples we can take means nsl is a salt so it is a salt and copper sulfate is a salt crystalline salt it is also a solid quas if you take quas it is also a solid if you take potassium nitrate so that is also a solid so these are the crystalline solids when you take nacl copper sulfate quas kno3 so this is like crystalline so if you take salt okay no salt is not the crystalline salt if you have been taken so salt is like amorphous so if you take crystalline solid what here the crystals it is like a crystal so means what it is a solid so it will give definite shape but what happens they do, do not give the definite order so this is about crystalline solids so what we can say crystalline solids is nothing but it will be having definite shape why it is having definite shape is nothing but here due to three dimensional structure so this is a three dimensional structure and also it will form a lattice structures and it will be having long range order and also it will be having definite shape okay and next type let us see here amorphous solid so what is amorphous solid so amorphous solids sir in orderly arranged molecules it is not going have definite shape and also definite volume if you have been seeing this diagram it is not going to have the definite shape and also definite volume okay so here this one we call it as super cool liquids so what is super cool liquid at certain temperature what happens means the solids whatever we are taking it become too cooled so that's why we call it as it is a super cool so what is super cooled we say here at certain temperature what happens these atoms molecules what we are taking it becomes very 
cool that's why we call it as it is a super cool liquids or pseudo solids they do not give sharp melting point also so here it will for perfect solids it will give correct melting point it will give melting point but it will not give sharp why because sometimes it will act as a liquid nature also okay it is will be like a sticky compounds when you heat that compounds it will be like a sticky compounds and it is also having definite shape and also it is having plain surfaces and it is isotropic in nature so if you have been observed in crystalline solids we are saying anisotropic in nature but coming to here we are saying that it is isotropic in nature so why it is isotropic in nature because here we are having certain properties like refractive index density okay so the density so these are the properties whatever it is there it is going to have the same values so if the values is same density refractive index surface tension if the these values are same then what we can say here it is a isotropic in nature so what are the examples we can take here is nothing but glass rubber plastic amorphous silicon okay if you take glass it is isotropic in nature if you take rubber so it is also isotropic in nature plastic that is also isotropic means they will be having same values so because of that only we are saying that it is a amorphous solids so this is nothing but crystalline solids and amorphous solid okay in the next class we can see basing upon crystalline solids these are divided into three in the next class we can see that one thank you